Welcome back to Ships at War. Now, they've added submarines and fixed how you can unlock them. Ooh, this looks like a proper U-boat. Now, there's a catch, though. To be able to use a U-boat or submarine, you gotta fight it and kill it first. <laughs> Some of these boats look absolutely stupid. Stupid awesome. Whoa. This battleship is a million resources. Okay, that sounds incredible. I want to try it. But remember, if I want to use any of these in an actual battle, I have to beat them first? Because check it out. If I want to use... I've, I find it interesting. If I want to use any of these downloadable ships, you got to beat them? So we'll fight the U-boat rem. Now, you have to use a destroyer, though. And let's see. The USS Fletcher should be a really good one. This one's the OP destroyer. Let's try this. So it's like a, a ship sinking simulator, right? Okay, we've got a nice calm day. There is a little bit of wave action. Let's get uh, underway. And I want to see if the AI is smart enough to dive. Because you can change your depth by doing this, right? So the AI... M oh my god, they're already firing torpedoes that are like skipping on the water. Like, okay, okay, so that's their range. Now, while we're under power, let's just go ahead and fire. Because I think against a simple submarine, we're not going to have to do too much. A few critical hits, I think, is all that are going to be needed to crack this thing open. Oh, look at that. It's physically, like, dancing under weight of the firepower we're presenting here. So let's adjust our fire because they are moving forward. So you can see a lot of shells are going behind them. And if they do get close enough, they're able to use their torpedoes. So we don't want that. Okay, these look like good hits. They're all just hits though. I haven't seen any critical hits yet. And I'm worried about their torpedoes. I'm really curious to see how aircraft carrier submarines work. Because, like, there was the Japanese I-400, which was awesome. Okay, flying torpedoes. Hits, 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 but no critical hits. None to speak of. It's kind of weird. How is this thing so strong? How is this alive? In certain cases, I'm like, you know, I don't really understand how the physics of this game work. Now, we have a torpedo launcher ourselves, which we could fire. So, I, I would imagine our torpedoes have similar range. Adjust fire again, because he's closing. What if our torpedoes, like, hit? Oh, they, they just passed. Okay. And mine exploded. His should explode relatively soon. Yeah. Come on. Sink it. Is this thing just built with the strongest armor? <gasps> okay, we have a break. We have a break in the hull. I'm expecting them to start flooding soon. You can see pieces of it start to, like, turn blue. That means that section is flooded. We've stopped it in its place. Okay, good. We've damaged, I guess, the main engine. And I think we're just outside of torpedo range, so this is pretty perfect. Oh, you can see it's starting to go under. It's trying to get some momentum here. The propeller's spinning, but the shaft must be broken on its way to the boiler. Okay, so there's that submarine. Now let's battle an aircraft carrier submarine. This one's gonna be a little bit weirder. Cause like, <laughs> look at this thing, man. <laughs> this is one of the cool- Oh, he's got guns, okay. And he's got- oh gosh, he's got aircraft. He is- <laughs> It's a submarine battleship aircraft carrier, man. This thing is like a feat of engineering. And he is moving fast. Okay, I, I definitely do not like how fast this thing is moving. Ooh, we did get a critical hit though already. Um, but I'm definitely worried about their aircraft. He's got two dive bombers on their way. Look at how fast he's going! He's on plane because he is hauling so much butt right now. Oh my gosh, I have to really, really, like, fire ahead because all my shots are, like, going well behind. Here we go, he's gonna walk right into these shells. <laughs> the torpedo's derped out because the torpedo tubes are above water. <laughs> There's a critical hit. I think we're- oh my gosh. We have problems. We have problems. And imagine if he went underwater. And that was just from the dive bombers. What's that? 
A piece of my ship is just sinking into the depths. Uh, we don't look like we have any critical damage ourselves. And I believe we just got some critical hits on this guy. Wait a minute. He is not- he's not moving anymore. I'm not sure if he just moved into a range that is comfortable for him. So this thing has- Look at the power it's got. Its steam usage is- was negative two. <laughs> what does that even mean? What do you mean you're using negative two steam? <laughs> you can, I don't think that's possible. I think there's either no steam or- or steam. You, you can't have negative steam. Oh man. Our ship is definitely taking a bit of a beating, but I think we're doing fine. What I want are some, like, officially made submarines. Like, it'd be really cool to see the I-400, which is the Japanese aircraft carrier submarine concept of, from World War I. Or, <laughs> World War I. World War II, my goodness. Incoming shells! Oh, the planes are looking to land. Okay, let's see how they land. <laughs> <laughs> that is not how you land a plane, but I guess that would be the totally accurate version of how you land a plane in this game. One of the things I would love to see in this game is like you being able to switch between like high explosive and armor piercing shells so that like, you know, depending on the target. Is he under power? Because some of our shells were woefully short. Oh, look at the zoom. Nice. Oh, okay. This is why he's not under power anymore. He has lost the rear section of his ship, which I believe is both forward momentum and steering, although you can't really steer laterally. Oh my goodness. Okay, we just knocked off a big armor panel and you can see, looks like they're diesel engines. Class reload bonus, min minus 90% on the D3A1s, the little Japanese dive bombers that he used. Which, I mean, my ship looks like it's having a rough time. And the main issue here seems that the AI just doesn't have the capacity to go underwater. Which is gonna be our task to see if that's even possible in ships of war. We're starting to see some serious cavitation. Like, look at these windows. <laughs> I don't think that's how windows are supposed to work. <laughs> but I keep getting rocked. I mean, I wonder if I'm actually gonna win this battle. Oh, a magazine hit! Who? Him or me? There's flooding in the back. I didn't see a magazine hit anywhere. All of our magazines are here. You, you would have expected a bigger eruption. There is some flooding in the back part of the ship. Oh, another magazine hit and a critical hit. But I guess if they don't detonate... Oh, look at this little warning. Uh, I think that means their magazines are busted. <laughs> they just didn't explode. Normally that's when you get the like catastrophic epic explosions and destructionary physics going on. Not today against this beast. Oh, look at that. Okay. We got some progress here. Now we just need that to fall below the waterline. Another magazine hit. I want detonations. Whoa. Yeah, something's not right here. <laughs> okay, you know what? Screw this. Full speed ahead. I need to get in torpedo range. If we can, in fact, move. You can see the bubbles coming out the back. Oh, come on, start the flooding. This thing, we are not moving. What is wrong? I, I, is the game bugged? Magazine hits don't produce explosions. Oh, <laughs> I said that and literally right after that, we saw a bit of an explosion. It needs some physics updates for sure. What is, what's that metal from, like, the Marvel Universe? Vibranium or something? It's supposed to be, like, super strong. This entire ship must be made out of it. And my boilers must be completely destroyed. There we go. That's what we want to see. Catastrophic movement. Now it just needs to sink. It's finally doing it. It's finally dipping under the surface. Whoever designed this ship was, like... Remember the Titanic, how it was supposed to be the indestructible ship? This person took that to heart and they're like, I'm gonna build the most indestructible submarine. I've been shelling it, like this thing has been probably hit close to a thousand times. Finally! We beat it! The Infiltrato! Now we're gonna use it. RN Infiltrato, and we're gonna fight, you guessed it, the Titanic. But what we have to do is learn how to submerge. Dive, dive, oh, negative 100 meters? How about negative 40 meters? And uh, negative 
30 meters. We're diving! Now, what if, what if I try to take... I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to take off the planes. Send the planes out! <laughs> I have submarine aircraft. Alright, now we need to move forward. We're gonna move past the Titanic and then rise up and shoot it. Because... Look at how this thing was designed. Hey! Oh, no, 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 dive, dive deeper. Let's go to like 50 meters. It was designed in such a way so we have more turrets on the back than on the front. And look at this. Submarines are overpowered because after a certain depth, shells... <laughs> this is incredible. We did take a hit. We do have a little bit of flooding, but I don't think... Oh my god, we have a rear torpedo launcher. We have a rear torpedo launcher. Wait a minute. Can I torpedo this thing? Okay, the dive bombers. Uh, guys, you... Yeah, there's nobody there, buds. <laughs> the Titanic move fast. Look at this, man. This is this is a little ridiculous. Okay, so fire group two, I believe, are the front two torpedo launchers. Yeah, group two. Uh, once we get close enough, we're gonna fire these guys. Like, actually, I think I have to fire now. I guess I could have waited. Oh. One detonated and one squirreling. Come on, hit it, and... No! Come on, man. We may not have another opportunity to fire them. Oh! I think that was actually a hit. They're getting some really good arc on us. Alright, I don't think this is gonna work. No, it's gonna work. <laughs> I knew it was gonna work. Never had any doubts. Boom, boom! <laughs> Magazine hits, because we're hitting it from the bottom. We- what we need is vertically launched torpedoes, like torpedoes that fire just straight up. Alright, so I think what we can do is just go this far, and then right- This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> he shot himself! He's trying to shoot us so badly. Yeah, we can- well, yeah, that won't work. Alright. Surface! Emergency surface! We might actually hit their ship. And we want to come to like a stop, like right there, I think. Just stay really, really close. This may not work, or it may be absolutely brilliant. Torpedo launcher rear. Oh yeah, look at that. Doesn't have the best arc, does it? So we're slowly surfacing, but we're getting shelled because they do have guns in the back, so... Against a battleship, this would probably be really, really good. Very limited firing angle. There we go. Hit the magazine right there. Oh! Oh, wait, are those my planes? Oh god, uh... Oh, I think they're trying to land. Yeah, they're, they're going to take off and land. Okay. Now, rear guns. Fire! <laughs> and we're waiting for the torpedo tube to reload. Surprise! Fire the torpedo! Boom! Big hit right near their rudder. Oh, that looks juicy. We are sinking the Titanic. We're taking hits too, though, so... And we're just, like, lobbing shots right out of the deck. Where's- where's Rose and, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio? Where's he at? They're, like, on the back, right? We definitely would have shelled him by now. Oh my gosh, but they're getting some really good hits in. Unfortunately, it's not like there's no turrets. Alright, torpedoes ready. I'm gonna fire, hopefully... nope. That just duffed right into the back. I think we need, like, better destruction in this game. You know? Cause, like... You're like, wait a minute, that would have blown that thing sheer off. But it might be armor-plated, you know? But I would definitely say that submarines seem, when used properly, a little bit overpowered. Alright, let's see if it'll go and then porpoise... No, go up. Go, go, don't keep doing that. Dang it. Our best hits were actually from the aircraft. Now, can I go backwards again? Let's see what happens if we do that. Ha! <laughs> Alright, so there's really bad damage done right here. The planes are finally getting back and doing their <laughs> special landing. <laughs> but I'm tempted to go underwater again and hit them with torpedoes. From like, a better angle than that. That just seems like it hits very strong armor for whatever reason. Alright, we're gonna aim amidships instead of right on the turret. Oh, we do have uh, flooding in the back. And their pro their prop, their propeller is completely gone. It must have sank a while ago and we just missed it. Here we go, planes. Go, go, go! This might be the last attack run. 
Luckily, the Titanic wasn't equipped with any aircraft devices. So these guys are going straight up. They might actually have to watch out for the primaries. Then they should go dive bombing. And there it is. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, excellent. You can see it start to like... It's definitely flooding. Torpedo. Alright, we do have two more planes. I'm not entirely sure how quickly they reload. Boop. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's what we're looking for. If you can see daylight through it, they gonna die. Let's try to hit magazines with our aircraft. It's riding low. <laughs> I wish they had, like, the Stuka sirens. Come on, hit the magazine. Oh! Yeah, that was a magazine shot. Okay. The Titanic just folded in on itself. You know what we should do? Dive, dive, dive. <laughs> and torpedo them while they're going down. <laughs> this is awesome. We did take a little bit of damage. Oh, yes. We've won. Submarines are incredibly powerful in this game. Anyway, thank you for watching another episode. Let me know if you guys do want to see more Ships at War.